Flux context is amazing. You can take an image input, here I am, I have the prompt, this man is sleeping in a bed, and here it is. Hello you beautiful people, today we're looking at Flux context, and you can do, well, basically anything. You can have an input, like this, the one we see here, and then output, like this, and this, and this, and this. Or I can make myself into this comic book character, and put myself into different scenes, like this, right? Flux context is smart, it understands what you want to do, you can use it for consistent characters, you can use it for face swaps, you can use it for, well, whatever you want. Changing the style into an anime, change back into realistic style, it's great. So, today I'm going to show you this workflow right here. It's uh, fairly simple, it's built upon uh, the, the default comfy one. Uh, there's also a text guide if you want that, it's available in the link in the description. It is free. The workflow you can download in this JSON link down here. Everything is in the description. You need to update your Comfy UI to the latest version. Make a backup if you want. Updating Comfy might break your previous nodes and workflows. Bear that in mind. Then you, let me zoom in a little bit here. You need to, after updating, you need to download the Flux Context model and put it into your models slash diffusion models. You can also put it in models slash unit doesn't matter, you have the option of using the full 24 gigabytes, this thing here, the FB8, which is 11 gigabyte, that's the one I use mostly, it takes about 30 seconds on my 4090, the full one takes about 40 seconds on my 4090, and then you have a bunch of GGUF models ranging from as low as 4 gigabytes for the, the Q2 version and up to uh, 12 gigs, so it depends on your GPU how much can handle once you put that put that in you should be good to go just drop the workflow in and you will see this if you have red nodes go into your manager install missing custom nodes here they're going to be a bunch here if you don't have them select them press install restart boom bam done right make sure you have the models here so here's where you select the context model the clip loaders you should have but if you don't have them you can find them either in the description or in the notes here next to them. So we used FB16 T5 and we used the clip L. We also used the VAE AE safe tensors. That one's super easy that you can get from the model manager. You search AE.safe tensors and it's this one, this one here. You can see the file name. If you put them in the folders, then it doesn't work. Just press R and you will refresh and then you should be able to see them the sampling down here you don't need to touch but here you need to load an image here we have an image of me you need to set the size of your output i'm just using a square right now you can do whatever you want you can change this to say we want to do 1344 or 768 here uh let's this man is riding a motorcycle near a beautiful lake Let's just run that. Let's see if this works as I'm recording. Usually this takes about 30 seconds and you can see here now that we are getting this image in live. This is not sped up. I am on this motorcycle. It will be high resolution soon. Uh, cap is here. There's no helmet. We need a helmet. We should prompt it for that. But it is the same cap that I'm wearing right now. And uh, we have a beautiful lake here in the background. So let's see how amazing it looks once we're finished. Here we go, here I am, a little smoothed out. I am running the FP8 model. You could uh, generate a, a couple of more times or change to the full model, right? So you can make anyone do anything. You can also, this man is an anime character eating in a restaurant. A chat bubble reads, hello beautiful oops beautiful people and we should hopefully see something like that we can see oh here i am my beautiful hat is there beautiful text is coming in hopefully correct sometimes the text can be a little iffy but just generate again and you should be fine but we can see that there is some sort of an illustrated or anime style i don't know what i'm eating but uh We'll see that in a second up here. Uh, we did get, hello, beautiful people. The text on the logo is correct. 
and I'm eating some kind of beans and broccoli here. This is nice, isn't it? You can change this to whatever you want. And, and let's, let's say you like, you know, you could do, he's a comic book character mm, riding the subway in New York. I think that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's just leave it at that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take the output and let's just use that as an input. So then we can keep going and have a consistent style of our comic book character. Now we have like a consistent face and a consistent hat, but we could like use this instead. And then we get a consistent comic book character style. And this works for anything. You could do like, you know, models like for product shoots or, you know, make your own comic books, whatever, right? It's really, really cool. So here we have this. We're just going to copy here. Copy. This is also saved and currently it's saved in a folder called context. And that's uh, that what's, what this forward slash is for. So it's in a folder called context and then the image will be named context. Now, if I paste that in there, we can see we have this as an input. And now we can see he's a comic book character eating sushi in a restaurant in Japan. And you can do much more advanced prompts, right? This is just me showing you how to do the simple stuff, how to get it running. And the good part is, well, you don't have to fiddle with a lot of the settings. Like everything here is set it and forget it. We're running Euler, simple. 20 steps and we have a, a random seed. If you want to play with, you know, small changes in your prompt without uh, and getting some kind of consistency where well, you can set the seed to fixed. But for this purpose, it's not really important, right? And here we have me eating sushi in a restaurant in Japan and the hat is still fairly intact. And I mean, you can change this as, into anything um, unless the style is expressionism oil painting. Let's see if that works. I haven't tried this. So we're testing this out live and we'll get a live result of this. We did say he's a comic book character, so that might mess it up. And it looks like it did. If we run this again, let's just remove he's eating sushi. The style is oil pen painting. Okay. So let's try this again because this for sure looks like a comic book. So if we remove the prompt, well, we did look in the background. Actually, we did get it. It's just very, very faint. Okay. I hear you. Good, good going context. So it did succeed, but it's um, just very small brush lines, right? So I'm assuming that if you wanted to feel more expressionistic, well, go further with your prompts, right? Now, the cool part about this, is, like you can be a little smart about this. See, well, fairly similar. Anyway, so if we take, let's do something fun, right? So let's get back. Let's get me back. There we go. Or actually, let's take the bigger one. This, um, we're just having a new load image. We're copying this and let's find something. Let's take this woman here and then we need an image concatenate, which means we are adding two images together. So we're just going to drag them together and then we're sending this there instead. So now we're concatenating these two images. And this is simple. You can just do this yourself. And then the two characters are walking together in New York. And if we generate this now, it will take these two characters and kind of merge them into the same image. And hopefully it'll be good, but we'll see. And as you can see here, ooh, give me a little jacket there. Uh, all full suit looks like a t-shirt on there but as soon as this is uh, finished generating we will see kind of this merge here and this is really really cool so you can just have multiple image inputs and here i am walking next to this woman here and we have a, a kind of new york background here so really really cool flux context super powerful get it while it's hot i think that's it as always have a good one. And if you don't want to bother with Comfy, you can do it in Swarm. It runs out of the box there.